What is happening guys? Hi y'all, I'm getting our beer video, but before we get on to the beer, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get to the beer, man. I got a beer from Hot Budget today, it's called Fat Bear, and it is a peanut butter imperial stout brewed with chocolate, coming in at 10.5% ABV, man. So, you already know, high ABV beers, I love those things, man. Uh, can on 722 20, 2021 and it says 480 Otis. Um, today is 10 5, I believe, 21. So it does definitely have some age on it, but it's also an Imperial style, so I'm not too worried about that. And check out that can artwork there. It's pretty simple but cool. Simple for Hot Butcher, they usually have some pretty crazy artwork. Um, but that grizzly bear up front is still very very cool man. That's the tasting notes right there And it is not a collab brew. I usually miss that. Uh, let's get this into a glass see what it looks like smells like it tastes like I ain't gonna lie man, a peanut butter imperial stout brew with chocolate. I, I'm just thinking I don't know Reese's cup um, Maybe even a Snickers bar pretty much. Ooh, that's that's pouring thick uh, Pretty much anything that just has peanut butter and chocolate I, I, I'm just guessing it'll taste something like that. And today is like a perfect stout, stout, um, a perfect day for a stout too, just because it's been raining all day, pretty gloomy. Uh, obviously, yeah, you can't see it because I have the blinds somewhat shut. I feel like this would have poured with at least a finger of head if I poured a little bit more aggressively. Uh, I tried to towards the end, but it was already too late. But the head, while it was here for like a second, it was like a third of a finger of head. It was this very nice, like a solid mocha colored head, man. It was just very, very like, I don't know. It just made you want to drink the beer, honestly. It's just, yeah, it was just like a really nice colored mocha head, man. Like a solid, not like a light brown mocha or like, it was just like a solid, solid brown mocha head. Um, the color of the beer, I mean, it poured out the can super dark and pretty damn thick. In the glass, it definitely looks like a jet black beer, man. Putting it to the light, yeah, no light comes through uh, on the beer. So, a very dark beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, the aroma's like dead on like Reese's Cup, dude. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It, it, yeah, I, I've had peanut butter beers before. Um, there's one I enjoy quite a bit. I don't think it's an Imperial though. It's from Belching Beaver, I believe, and it's literally called I think peanut butter stout, I think. Um, I enjoyed that one quite a bit just because it's like not too sweet, but the mouthfeel could use help. But I also don't think it's an Imperial IP or IP, Imperial stout. So that could be why. Uh, this smells very similar to that. I don't, maybe like a tad more like sweet. But other than that, I'm, I'm, just, like, I'm just going off of memory, right? So. I think it smells very similar to the Belching Beaver beer. Hopefully this tastes just as good, if not better, and then the mouthfeel to accompany that, you know, type of uh, beer, because it's, uh, or this type of beer, because it's Imperial Stout. And I, kinda, I do like very, uh, not very, not super thick, but like just thick, very solid mouthfeel, full body type of uh, uh, stout, and you know, it just really adds to the experience of the beer. But yeah, on the nose, man, you should get ton ton of peanut butter and honestly a little bit of caramel and then of course the milk chocolate comes through man not getting any other variation of chocolate at all just primarily those three three aromas man peanut butter milk chocolate and a little bit of like a touch of caramel let's get into the flavors man cheers mm. yeah just as soon as it like hit my tongue I knew it was going to be like a solid mouthfeel and it is like it's just like a thicker consistency it's not it's definitely not watery at all it's um it definitely goes with the style of beer and it's coming off a lot sweeter than I expected and what it is I want to go in the uh, dessert uh, stout type direction here it's not it's not like the Belgian beaver where like it's it's sweet but it's not like dessert stout sweet it's just like 
a per, like a very good balance of peanut butter and sweetness. This is definitely that dessert stout. It is for sure up there in sweetness, man. <clears throat> that was just my first sip, uh, but I got definitely peanut butter and I think maybe even dark chocolate, honestly. Yeah, it is a sweet, sweet beer, man. I'm gonna say, this is not a bad beer. I wish more peanut butter came through. Peanut butter does come through. You get some roasty coffee notes in the back end too. Not not too roasty, not too coffee-y. Um, but I wish there was a little bit more of that peanut butter. Peanut butter is there, it is present, but I'm gonna say like that caramel, even I will say honey flavor, sweetness kind of just demolishes most everything else. It is for sure a sweet beer and that milk chocolate, milk chocolate does come through, uh, but it kind of goes hand in hand with that sweetness, man. Kind of, yeah, I really wanted to taste more peanut buttery, you know, how like a Reese's peanut butter cup, it's mostly, I'm gonna say it's, it's, oh man, it might be a good 50-50 split because there's a, there's, you know, that crust all the way around, but like you definitely taste like peanut butter in a Reese's cup. This is more chocolate, more sweetness, and alcohol burn definitely come through very strong, man. It is very warming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with milk chocolate, caramel, maybe even honey, and like the consistency really adds to that like honey, caramel um, flavor because it's like that kind of consistency where you, you just have like honey water or whatever. And then yeah, uh, uh, it fades out to like more, I guess, it, there's definitely some nuttiness to this beer. Um, I would guess probably peanut butter because Usually, like, peanut butter is a very dominant flavor, or even almond butter and things like that. But, like, I'm going to say I'm going to go with peanut butter, and then it fades onto this, you know, pretty pleasant, I would say, roasted uh, coffee bean flavor to end it off with this, just a touch of bitterness. Um, I, I think the bitterness is perfect. If it's any more bitter, it might be too much bitterness, although that would balance out the um, sweetness. I just don't think that bitterness would do this beer any good i think it'll just leave a bad taste in your mouth um honestly i think it was just toned down in the sweetness department this would definitely be a banger um i'm not saying it's not now but this is like a eight ounce pour approximately for me uh, i would definitely share this with another person if i had another person i would definitely share it because i think eight ounces of a beer like this is plenty and any more of it i don't know if i honestly could finish it just because it's so sweet uh, I would say this is definitely on that sweeter side, but you, it's not so sweet that you can't enjoy it. It's just, in my opinion, like, I, I like I like dessert stouts. I just don't like desserts, too much of a dessert stout all at the same time because dessert stouts are very, very sweet. Um, this is just that, man. So I would say eight ounces is probably a good amount for me. I might even go as low as like six ounces. Um, yeah, but it's very enjoyable. At least the mouth, the mouth feel, um, not at least the mouth feel is. It matches the imperial style. It matches you know the style of beer. It matches the uh, advertised ingredients or flavors. Peanut butter and chocolate. You kind of just assume it's going to be thicker. It's going to be like a Reese's cup. And for the most part, I would say there's some resemblance there with the chocolate and the peanut butter and a little bit of that caramel. But um, yeah, just, just a sweeter, sweeter dessert beer, man. And I know people are uh, into that. Like, there's, I know people who would, like, totally crush a can of this easily. Um, but, yeah, maybe just a little tad too too sweet for me. Anyways, man, that is Fat Bear. I think it's called Fat Bear. Yeah, Fat Bear. It appears to have come at 10.5% ABV from Hot Butcher, brewed with uh, peanut butter. Well, it's a peanut butter imperial style, <laughs> and brewed with chocolate. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions, leave them below. And as always, dream big dreams and leave all things possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.